After Darth Vader severed Luke Skywalker's hand during The Empire Strikes Back, what wound up happening to Luke's hand? The answer to that question comes from Greg Pak's fantastic Darth Vader comic. In it, Darth Vader learns of Exegol, travels to the ancient Sith planet, goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Sidious, before submitting to his Sith Master and learning what Sidious was up to on Exegol. While traveling into the bowels of the Sith Citadel, Vader came upon clone tanks containing bioengineered organisms strong in the dark side of the Force, the same tanks that were used to create clones of Snoke in The Rise of Skywalker, as well as the severed hand of Luke. What the? Although it's not outright stated that Sidious used Luke's hand to create Snoke, it's heavily implied that it was used in Snoke's creation. If that's the case, Snoke would be a deformed clone of Luke Skywalker. Gotta love some weird-ass Star Wars. In Legends, after his duel with Luke, Darth Vader found and acquired Luke's severed hand and lightsaber from an Ugnaught on Cloud City, gave the hand and saber to Palpatine, which was used years later by Joris Sebaoth to create a dark side clone of Luke.